Hi guys, so it's the Artistic Bookworm here and I'm back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing these two things. So I say things because I'll explain more in a minute. So Millie Marotta's Tropical Wonderland 50 colouring in postcards. So that's that one. And then she also has Millie Marotta's Animal Kingdom 50 colour in postcards. And I bought these two from Waterstones here in the UK, which is like a, um, it's mainly a bookshop, um, but it does um, a few different bits and pieces as well. Um, and I bought them being as I was going on holiday, going on a flight, and I wanted something to fill in my time. And so I've done a few of them now, and I'll let you know what I thought, and I'll also be colouring in one of them in this video. So first of all, I will just put you down here, and then open these up. So let's have a look. I think I did, yeah, I've done a couple in here, I think. I'm very, very fussy with how I keep these, so. So I've done one in here, basically. So, this is the one I've coloured in so far. I did colour this butterfly in differently, and then I realised I actually liked the way those ones have come out, so I tried to lighten it. Didn't quite work, though. And this is how it looks on the back, just in case you're interested. And... I will show you some of the blank ones in here. If I can get them out. So this is how they come. So you have the different animals in the Animal Kingdom one. And you just have all you just have all different ones to colour them with all sorts of different patterns on. And that's so that's those ones and then for the for the tropical wonderland I'll just get those ones out as well so the the tropical wonderland ones I still haven't finished colouring in this pineapple yet um, but it's coming along really well I think so far so I will get around to finishing it but then I did do another one that I just absolutely fell in love with and that's this sea one so with seaweeds and all of that so yeah again that's what the back looks like and then some other ones that we have in this one are so mainly flowers and there's a toucan, there's a tiger in the box at the moment, and then like an owl. So this one has all sorts in. Um, I've been colouring them with my Copics. I haven't used anything else on them yet, like my Prismacolors or my um, Faber-Castell ones yet. Um, but they're good size for travelling as well. Like This is pretty much, I'd say, A5. Yeah. They're A5 sized, um, they're really decent cards, so you can pretty much colour them in using Copics, and yes, they do go back to the back a bit, again, it depends how much you blend and how much you're using your Copics on them, um, but other than that, they are really good with Copics. Um, you can, I think you can get a few other ones than just these two, but... These are the two I found at my local store, and they are a bit on the pricey side. They're twelve ninety nine each, but that works out at less than a pound, I believe. My maths is awful. Sorry. If you divide twelve ninety nine by fifty, it equals at twenty five p per card, basically. So for 25p for each colouring card, I think that's quite good value for money. And I bought both sets, and so I have 100. 
Um, so what I'm going to do now is just find a card to colour in. Um, I'll be using my Copics and then I will talk more about the quality then. Okay, see you in a minute guys, thanks. Hi guys, so here I am with the colouring of this card and I'm going to be doing like a little series on these sort of adult colouring things and colouring books, colouring postcards and see how they react to Copics and possibly my other art supplies like my Pro Markers, um, I've got Prisma colours, I've got Faber Castell pencils, stuff like that so you should be seeing um, more of these. Um, I've also got a couple of other colouring books that I'll review, um, but for now I'll get on to the review of these postcards. So as I was saying before, they are postcards by Millie Marotti, Marotta, I believe her name is, and so far I've seen two, and the box comes with 20, um, 50 different postcards and um, they're on really good quality paper. It doesn't say what paper they are, um, or what paper it is, but I believe it is um, like a 300 GSM card because it's similar to my um, color copy paper and also my expressive blending card. Um, so as you can see, um, while I'm coloring it in, it blends really well and there's no bleed. I do colour out the lines a bit, but that's just me being me. Like usual, I can't seem to keep in. Um, but I was very, very impressed in the quality. Um, when you think you're getting about... A, basically, one postcard is about 25 pence. The For that amount, it is really good quality. I mean, the whole box is 12 99 and this is here in the UK. I'm not sure if you can get these abroad, um, but you might be able to find them on Amazon. Um, I got mine from Waterstones, which is like a book... It's mainly a bookstore um, with a few other bits and pieces inside. Um, but yeah, I must apologise for the quality of the video here. I'm still trying to sort out my camera. Um, but yeah, I was definitely surprised with the quality um for the actual designs in the that come in the box i think there is a lot of variety i mean just i'm looking at the moment at my tropical wonderland collection the one i'm coloring in now is from the animal kingdom and i've got ones with flowers on i had one with a pineapple i've got a i believe it's a pelican here um, birds, um, a tiger, parrots, and yeah, just a wide variety of different things. And considering that some of the designs get like really tiny, and like I was wondering whether, like, because the nib and the ink and all of that, whether that would be a problem, but actually, it wasn't. It was pretty. It was pretty good. What I just learned to do is just colour all of it, over all of it in my lightest colour. And then figure out the lighting and all of that afterwards. Um, so yeah, sorry for the long pause here. I didn't realise there was that long without colouring. Um, and I'm sorry for saying sorry a lot because I seem to do that a lot. That, I don't know why, but I'm very... I'll apologise for everything and I'll take pauses here, I'll take pauses there, my audio is always awful, so yep, yeah, I apologise for that. Um, for this picture I decided to keep to a limited colour palette rather than going really colourful because like Charmeleon's green so I coloured him in with like a load of my different yellow greens and then I used the background was a blue green. And the leaves are just my green greens, my green greens, that, just the green basically. And then the stick of course was my browns, my E colours. Um, I thought that sticking to a limited colour palette for this one would be really good, just because of like what the chameleon represents. I know he can blend into all different things, so I thought well actually, rather than having it all one colour, 
I wouldn't go for a lot of colours, I would just go for a lot of different variations of one colour. Um, so that's what I did here. Um, on other news, I'm still getting used to Adobe Premiere Pro, so it's taken me forever to edit and forever to figure out the audio. Um, so yeah, I apologise for that. And I also just want to thank everyone for getting me to 25 subscribers because that I never thought 25 people would want to watch my art let alone subscribe um I think I've got to nearly 1500 people watching like having looked at least at my page I believe maybe not necessarily watch the videos um but again that's more than I ever thought um things that I'm doing at the moment or that I plan to do I need to do the video for May ruler box so that's to come and I've also got another review video of an adult colouring book um, that I'm just testing out at the moment um, so you can look forward to hearing that I'm not sure when those two videos will come up I'm also planning to do a lot of speed paints and I'm also doing a comic for a website um, so hopefully the first one I did was a bit rushed so I didn't record that page, um, but I'm planning to record the other pages when I get round to doing them. Um, I'm just in the middle of planning out the second page currently. So there's that. Um, and what else is there for life updates? I think that's pretty much it at the moment. Like, I've just got work going on. I'm thinking of um, September doing vlog channel. I think I mentioned that in my last video. So please comment and let me know if you think that's a good idea, if you'd be interested in that. Please also comment on what to see more of, what you don't like, what you think I should discuss, if you think my audio is bad and I need to rethink of it, please just um, comment and let me know. Um, because if you don't let me know things, guys, I won't have any idea. Um, so yeah, just like let me know. And again, I'm using my new end slate. I'm very proud of that. So I've got videos there. So check out my channel, see those um, at Oldwell. And please um, give me a thumbs up for this video if you liked it. And subscribe if you want to see more videos. Bye, guys.